Hey guys, and welcome back to another how-to video. Today we're going to take a look at how to uh, maybe fix that menu flashing uh, if you've got a wheel and pedal uh, combination and you've got problems in the store or you've got problems with the, uh, the controls flashing between what looks like uh, controller options and keyboard and mouse options. Uh, let me show you what's going on here. And you can see down here, if I move the mouse, it's flashing. It's kind of annoying to some people. It's a little annoying to me too. Um, but let's go ahead and let's go on in just to uh, demonstrate a few things. And then when I did my first live stream on this map, I discovered that the button that I had mapped for push to talk, because I like to use push to talk when I live stream, um, was also mapped to the uh, the menu uh, left or, or the menu um, next option, and that was a bit annoying. And I couldn't find in the uh, key mappings where to change that, but now I know where to do that, and I want to show you guys in case you all have the same problems. The first thing you notice, all right, so here we are, you know, walk around, we can see things, we can run, it's all cool. Uh, but if we pull up the menu, all right, so the first thing, we have a problem with the PDA, it just wants to scroll on us. That is got to be. Um, and we've got, you know, the flashing deal going on there with the controls. Uh, you notice up here E is the uh, menu next, and Q is the back. Okay, but Q is also for quit, so it's kind of dangerous, right? Um, well, it turns out that the button I used to push to talk does the same thing. I'm hitting that button right now. That wasn't overly desirable. So here we are at our keyboard controls. And I had looked through this for, oh my gosh, I don't know how long, maybe maybe 20 minutes trying to find anything that related to E, first off, and second off with the menu. And if you look through here, first off, you can't sort. If you could sort this by alphabetical, that would make sense. I mean, because it's all just scatterbrained in here. You can't find anything that you're looking for uh, that you want. Uh, related to anything but if we look slowly through here I mean there is nothing here about the menu okay so let me jump out and show you something here in uh, the text editor so let's uh, let's jump over here and pull up Explorer real fast and I'll show you where we're looking at so here is Windows Explorer and you can see that we are in our Farm Sim 2019 folder within the Documents and My Games. And specifically, we're going to look at this input binding.xml file. Now, before we do anything, let's right click, copy, click down here in the white space, and paste that little bad boy. Now we have a copy of that file. So anything we change in the input binding.xml file going forward uh, will. We will have a backup in the case we actually mess something up. Let me exit the game here. Okay. Now we've exited the game. All the way out. Let's bring up our Notepad++ of the input binding.xml. All right, so here it is, the input binding.xml file. And this is basically all of the key bindings for the game, um, including the ones that are in that menu that we're looking at, but a heck of a lot more. Um, you'll see here, we've got uh, the action is jump, okay? And the keyboard and mouse default is the, the space key, key underscore space. Then we have this other thing, this giant long string here, okay? This string, if we scroll all the way down to the bottom, Okay, we're going to see device. Here's that string again. And its name is basically Thrustmaster B677. That is the name it, that it gave for my wheel. I've got a Thrustmaster T150 wheel and pedal. Um, so that is what it has uh, basically given the name to that. And that's whenever see we, we see this device string, it's referring to that wheel. Okay. So we can see here, um, activate hand tool is X or the left mouse button or um, 
button number seven, whatever button number seven is on my wheel. Okay. Well, specifically, what I'm going to look for is if we look for um, menu. Okay. So we can see we've got menu, accept, activate, back, cancel, previous page, and next page. That's what we want to look for. Okay. So we have key is Q and E. And then we have input button five and six, okay? Again, on our wheel. Well, I don't want Q to be that because I don't want to hit Q expecting the game to change the menu and it, uh, end up quitting out on me. So I'm going to make uh, the previous button, I'm going to make it Z. Okay, now, like I said, you got to be very careful with making these changes. I'm going to make the next button um, slash. Okay, and then I'm going to go down here to where, remember this is where my wheel is. I'm going to delete this button binding because I don't want my wheel buttons to, uh, you see, when I hit push to talk, I don't want it changing menus. Okay, so I'm just deleted very carefully button binding for my wheel for page menu previous and next okay but do notice i still have the quotes okay very important if you delete that quote notice that now all of this changed color well one of the reasons notepad plus plus is real nice is because it's color coordinated um and if you mess something up if you delete something by accident you're going to notice things below it are going to change color and that's kind of a good indicator that something is wrong. All right. So, you know, we can pretty much just look through here and increase time scale, seven and eight. Okay. Run key. All right. We're going to save this. All we did was make that little change. Now we're going to go ahead and launch the game again. Okay. And we're going to go in here. Armor again. All right. Start. Go. Okay. And if we hit escape, we go back to the menu. And we'll see now up here Z and slash. Slash isn't doing anything. It didn't like that option. Z works. So I can go back in and I can change it to, let's say, M or uh, N. They don't do anything in here at the moment. So I can change that back to M. Okay. And my button that I'd use to push to talk, now it doesn't change my menus. So that's pretty cool. Uh, but I still have this flashing problem whenever I move the mouse around. I mean, that is just, that's annoying, right? And something else I noticed, is if I go in the store to buy something, okay, I, I can't really pan around and look. You know, it does this weird flashing action. It's just, it's just, all right. So this is what I did to fix it. And it's not a permanent fix. Um, I was going to need to research this a little bit more to do a permanent fix. But it's it's about as ridiculously simple as as you're going to come up with. And you're going to be like, oh my gosh, I don't know why I think about that. So all I'm going to do, and I can't really show this, is I'm going to push my accelerator down and release it. That's all I'm going to do. Okay? So I just pushed my accelerator down and it's zooming in. Okay, if I push the brake, it zooms it out. Okay. But now that I've done that just once, when I move the mouse, look, the UI is not flashing anymore. Okay. But I can go here and I'm not getting the flashy down here at all. Okay. Let me go into shop. Wrong button. Go into shop. Back to trucks. Back here to the warrior. And now look, I can move around, scroll. I don't have the little flashy bits. 
Why pushing the accelerator does this, I don't know, but dang it, it's a pretty quick fix. And um, maybe maybe there's something in that input bindings that if I look into it some more, I'll find. But uh, it seems pushing the accelerator is a pretty quick fix, getting rid of that UI flashing deal. I hope this video helped. If it did, please click the like button. Uh, if you want to, go ahead and hit subscribe. We're going to have more how-to videos coming out in the near future. Until next time. Happy farming.